Hey, well, um, here today, it's uh, Thursday, June 19th, and I will be talking about my dynamic sequencer tool that I built in JavaScript. This is plain old JavaScript. Um, so what is this? Yes, so if you've ever seen like a music synthesizer, a music sequencer, where you can um, uh, basically select different intervals in a range of different instruments, you can create music. Uh, and essentially, you'll be able to create a MIDI sequence, uh, which you can save and use uh, in other uh, applications and apply instruments to, uh, to get actual timbre and instrument sound, more than just a basic MIDI. The MIDI is basically a digital sequence with a particular waveform assigned to it for the output of the MIDI to uh, sound like something. So here's an example, right? Let me just play this and I'm gonna play. So as you can see, the first note is a kick drum. And if I put more uh, highlighted squares here, I'll be able to uh, play more kick drums. And now basically if I add uh, snares here in the different squares and I can create a different uh, tempo with the snare and the kick mix. I can also add hi-hats. Hi so basically this is a drum machine but I could synth synthesize other um, types of instruments as well. And so now if I add the bass, this sounds like a little bit of a bass drum. Okay, so now what else I could do, I could change the waveform. And if I change this to the square wave, right, then you can hear a different waveform that's being outputted. Uh, for, and now I can change it to a, a sawtooth wave for bass. Right, finally, a triangle wave. But now, to me, the most satisfying in terms of the futuristic sound is the triangle wave. So let's try some more. You can see there's a lot of uh, variation, and of course I can change it to tempo. Obviously really fast. Now what if I want to create a whole different uh, random song? Let me do that. So just in case, you know, I'm having trouble uh, with inspiration and coming up with my own beat, I can uh, change the song to a completely different tune. and. And I made it so that the randomization algorithm kind of attempts to not do it completely randomly, but with a little bit of variation between spacing between different cells and different uh, note generations. Uh, so um, you should actually get something interesting from the randomization. Some of this could sound like 80s music or video game music or something, you know, from the 80s and 90s. Or some kind of like, you know, Bossa Nova beat or something like that. Or something even a lot faster, maybe like a club kind of rave type song or something like that. So anyway, as you note that I have a lot of variety in which I can uh, play around with here and I can extend this. And so the next things I'm going to work on is uh, saving these uh, actual uh, songs so you can export these to different tracks and whatnot. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a fun little experiment, and uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and hope you enjoy playing around with it.